but scientists elsewhere won't embrace this radical new approach until they do their own studies. So researchers at the University of Buffalo actually invited Dr. Zamboni and a group of his liberated Italian patients to collaborate on the largest study of its kind. The Buffalo team, headed by Dr. Robert Zavadnov, is now looking for over 1,000 MS patients from the U.S. and from Canada to scan their necks with ultrasounds and MRIs to find the twisted veins that may be at the root of MS. The first step is prove that this is true and that it's more prevalent in MS patients than normal controls, which I can tell you immediately I believe it is. Okay. For Buffalo neurologist Bianca Weinstock Gutman, it's urgent research. If this is proven correctly, it will be a very, very big discovery because we'll completely change the way how we think about MS, how we'll put our treatment on it, and eventually we may see later on maybe other relation of these venous problems on other autoimmune disorders. But MS societies in Canada and the U.S. have issued cautious statements, saying there's insufficient evidence to suggest that this phenomenon is the cause of MS, and they discourage patients from getting tested or seeking treatment. But Dr. Zamboni insists his study results will eventually win over skeptics in the scientific world. The opposition was really big, but uh, this was never important for me because uh, uh, what uh, uh, I did was to continue to accumulate evidence, evidence, evidence. And he has important allies here at McMaster University in Hamilton. Mark Hakey, a Canadian who also works at Wayne State University in Detroit, says he too is finding surprising narrowed veins in MS patients from around the world. And this is the drainage. That's the main draining vein, and then it gets very narrow, almost like a little hair running down here. That's bad. And you saw that and you thought what? I thought Zamboni is on the right track. I was very excited by this because I felt that our finding made sense. I think this is quite a paradigm shift. And so he's setting up his own scientific study, encouraging MS patients to send him MRI scans of their heads and necks so he can build on Dr. Zamboni's findings. The patients need to speak up and say, we want to have something like this investigated, at least at an early stage, to see if there is credence to this theory. Even if it's 10 or 20 percent of these people who can be helped, that needs to be investigated. But the scientific world moves slowly, and Dr. Samboni's research suggests the earlier patients are treated, the better the result. MS is a progressive disease and strikes young people. So if we lose time, there are a lot of young people that progresses without possibility to get back. And this is very heavy for me, really. But for Dr. Zamboni, this has always been more than a scientific quest. It's a journey fueled by love. His wife, Elena, developed MS over a decade ago, and she was one of his team's first test subjects. I immediately. <laughs> I tested my wife immediately. And? And I found the narrowing. Elena was also one of the first patients who was liberated from those blocked veins nearly three years ago. An intensely private woman, she chose not to speak on camera, but told us she's not had an MS attack since. In the MRI, we do not have actually uh, disease activity at all. And uh, she returned to completely to their activity. She's normal? Yes. If you perform a neurological examination, you are not too capable to find neurological deficit. When you look at her now, what do you think? You think, I helped her? What I think is this is probably the best prize. The best prize of the research. His best prize and a gift that Dr. Zamboni now wants to share with MS patients around the world.
Dr. Zamboni's scientific paper on the liberation treatment will be published next week, sure to further the debate on his radical treatment for multiple sclerosis. Now, if you want to learn more about this story, you can go to our website at w5.ctv.ca. You'll find additional information, including useful links.